but there's many questions surrounding YouTubers' minds. I'm not saying everybody's crazy. I'm just saying I'm a little crazy. Good YT, what the fuck is going down? I am back for another video. It's Barry Guap, and I am giving you bitches the issue. <laughs> well, I bet yes. So, this right here is going to be not your typical video. It's going to be in the mind of a YouTuber, like, or my mind. If you're here, thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. Um, we always love a good, a good thumbs up, share, and subscribe. We always, we, we, we always, we, we love them, good sisters. And hit the notification bell. I don't know if it's on your left. My right, my right, your left, I don't know, girl, but hit that notification bell. I upload videos every motherfucking day, especially in March Madness, bitch, and why would you not want to get into it? So, honestly, this video wasn't requested, but I was watching PewDiePie upload a video, and he was talking about burnouts and how YouTube can burn you out, and it can cause you to feel as if it's in, like, a depressed-like symptom. Um, him and... I have the other dude's name. Burnout is basically when you feel as if you didn't reap, reap the reward for all the work you put in. And with being a YouTuber, I feel as if you put in a lot of work. And people really don't understand how much work you, you really honestly put in. Especially when you're a little YouTuber and you're trying to grow your channel. Oh, uh, you're putting in work, baby. You're putting in work, okay? Work, 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 work. You see me heavy, work, 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 work. You see me do me. If there comes the criticism. Some people deal with criticism good. Some deal with criticism bad. I'm, I feel as if I'm semi good. I, I I was in a photography class which helped me deal with criticism, like with people being able to tell me that I wasn't always the best. So I feel as if I've learned how to deal with criticism, but I'm not as I'm not where I want to be. YouTube has helped me a lot with self confidence, with people reaching out to me telling me that I helped them. But as far as where I want to be mentally, I'm not where I want to be mentally. Most definitely not. And I know that if you come on YouTube, you have to be mentally stable. I'm mentally stable to the point where nobody can tear me down and make me feel less than myself or littler than myself. But not everybody's like that. And I know that <clears throat> YouTube can become very overwhelming if you allow it to overwhelm you. And that's on period. So this is for all the people who want to be YouTubers. Let me tell you guys, set a consistent schedule. That's number one. Get on here for the right reasons. Don't get on here for money. Remember that everything comes in time and if you do blow up quick most definitely remember that you have to maintain that success you can't just change who you are because you've grown you know what i mean it might have boosted my confidence but it doesn't change who you are as a person because once you allow it to change who you are as a person then the money will most definitely evaporate and it will no longer be there so depression aspect so me being i'm literally like i wouldn't say depressed but i've been like diagnosed with depression before and anxiety and things like that so i know how it is to be like that okay and then my grandma was bipolar schizophrenic so i i know i i, I know what i know what it is <laughs> i've seen it firsthand um but it's about how you deal with it. Some people lash out. Some people put it on other people. You have to find a system. You have to find something that you can do to hold that void. Social media, is it, it's a dark place. And a lot of people come to YouTube to get out of that dark place. And it puts them in a darker place because now you're getting viewed by thousands of people. At the point that I looked at my channel and I seen that over 170,000 people have watched my videos. <clears throat> I mean, I'm happy. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy. But it's overwhelming. You know what I mean? Like, I, I've heard, that many people have heard my voice. So if I was to go somewhere, people would know me. I've had views in Africa, United Kingdoms, Canada, like, all these different places that I've never been. And I've never thought that I would be able to reach you know what i mean so if you allow some people allow that to go to their heads some people allow that to tear them 
down when their views don't match the work they did. You know what I mean? So some people can't handle that. That would hurt their self-esteem, their confidence, and things like that. Because they feel as if they put in all this work, they are working extra hard to get this content out, and people aren't even wanting to watch it. Which, it can be frustrating sometimes, but I know for a fact that I do this because I just need to vent, I just need to talk, and I don't have friends. Like, I don't have friends, so it's either I talk to myself or I talk to a camera, and I get it out to somebody who I can help, you know what I mean? Who feels the same way, you know what I mean? I was watching a video, I forgot her name, let me look. I was watching a video on Ella Mills, and she had a YouTube burnout, and she's like 19, 20 years old, and she had to go around like her friends, family, things like that to get back to her mental state that where she wanted to be, which is good, because that's something what you need, and that's not always what's best for your channel i'm gonna be honest with you guys because i don't know about her channel but i know that once you take breaks if you're not coming back with full force full throttle and you don't apply pressure your channel can most definitely take a big hit because of that you know what i mean so you have to be consistent okay so at the point i know y'all might see me in the same clothes every day like they're like this nigga don't never change clothes i blow like i record like five videos one day because I'll have, I mean, it's not that I don't have the energy all the time, but I'll have so much energy to do all these videos and I want to take a break throughout the week. Introverts are not likely to express themselves fully in a room full of people, whether at school or at work. So they usually have a lot of thoughts running in their heads during the day. Unwinding at the end of the day is sacred to them because they get to reflect on their daily events through blogging, journaling, or expressing their thoughts in another creative form. You know what I mean? I don't want to be every day every day recording upload it every day recording you know what i mean and editing and that, that's a lot of work so you have to find a balance in what you want to do i'm not saying you have to record five videos in one day but you can you you can it's possible i know that for a fact you can record 20 videos in one day if you really want it to you know what i mean but it's just a process and it can become overwhelming if you allow it to overwhelm you okay so let's talk about in the minds of youtubers I feel as if you have to be one crazy person to sit and talk in front of a camera by yourself. Like, I mean, there's people here, but who am I really talking to? I mean, I know I'm talking to you guys. Love you guys. If you guys made this far, thumbs up this video. But I know I'm talking to you guys, but it's like I'm really talking to myself. Like, there's a mirror behind this camera, and I'm looking at myself. Like, I don't see nobody but me. And that's the third thing about YouTube in my opinion that I'm talking to you guys but I mean I get you guys input but when you put in so much work to do something and then it you get so much so much hate or you get so much negative feedback and it, it hurts sometimes especially if you actually love what you're doing and you actually love what you put out it's most definitely gonna hurt and it's gonna affect you in some way somehow it, it just depends on how you take take stuff you know what I mean so I just know that YouTube can get into the minds of some people and I know that it can hurt some people um, I'm not saying like YouTube's a big bad thing I'm not saying it like YouTube's not for everybody but I'm just I'm just, I'm talking to you guys I'm just letting you guys know before you sign up for something I'm not saying that I'm gonna get off YouTube I'm just letting you guys know because I knew this when I came in I already knew what it was gonna be because I I didn't know exactly what it was gonna be but I already knew it was gonna be easy because I've been on it doing it since I was like young. I would have been below if it was going to be easy. You know what I mean? So it, it, it is what it is. Um, I feel as if YouTubers are, most YouTubers are social butterflies on camera. You know what I mean? Like on camera, we can be the most vibrant person ever. Um, I know that I'm, I'm, a, I'm cool at, like it, it, if you would meet me, you would be like, you're so cool for real. On camera, you're like, you're loud. You might be ghetto. Like, it, it just depends on what video you watch. But I'm really, like, calm, cool, collective. I mean, I can get there if you take me there. But I try to be the most calm, cool, collective person that I can be. I'm belligerent ghetto. Just because I was raised in the hood don't mean I got to act hood. Period. You know what I mean? So, you have to be really crazy to be on YouTube. <laughs> You have to have a little something wrong with you, like, because you're, you're allowing yourself to talk to a cam camera, talk to yourself, you, and you just be talking for, for sometimes hours, sometimes 
ranting, yelling for hours. You know what I mean? So there is most definitely that. Um, I feel like all YouTubers have like it's just some people have teams with them, which makes it like okay a little bit easier because you still have my in a room you're communicating with. But other people they just be just talking, child, and that's weird i mean i'm happy that i have this platform to do it but like i said that's a little weird girl you a little weird child you 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 weird and <laughs> and i know that i'm weird because i talk to myself even if i wasn't on camera so i'm like why would i not put it on camera if i'm already gonna talk to myself girl because i'm already crazy as hell like then the thing is you have to answer yourself in your head like when you're talking so it's just it's just a lot like i just want you guys to know what you guys are signing up for before you guys get into it okay girl so this is just a mini, like, in the mind of a YouTuber. I can really get into full depth about, like, what goes, like, I don't know about all YouTubers, but I know most definitely me, what goes on with me. And I have a few YouTuber friends that do it. So, I can ask them their aspects. But, like I said, if you like videos like this, thumbs up, <laughs> like, share, subscribe, bitches. And like I said, I will see you in my next one. Peace.